A month long controversy involving a fourth grade teacher and a book about racism has now come to, come to a close. Last fall, the Carroll ISD Board of Trustees voted to reprimand the teacher after getting a complaint about the book, which was in the teacher's classroom library. Today, both Carroll ISD and the teacher came to the agreement during a hearing. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn has been following the developments and joins us now live. Lynn Ann. Heather, both the district and the teacher's attorney wouldn't say much about the agreement that was reached today, only saying that both sides are pleased with the outcome. It's been an interesting and difficult process. Closing the chapter on a months long issue involving fourth grade teacher Ricky Farah and a book on racism in her classroom library at Johnson Elementary School in Southlake. The controversy started last fall after a parent complained. Originally, Farah was not reprimanded, but parents appealed the decision and the board voted to move forward with the reprimand last October. There is simply nothing wrong with what the teacher did. The parent could re couldn't really file a grievance about the book in the teacher's library, so they made a cock and bull story about the teacher's behavior. Monday morning, the board of trustees met at 8 a.m. for a special meeting after Farah made an appeal. In complaints filed, Farah claims she was never interviewed at any level of the grievance process, and the board violated board policy and school laws in the state of Texas. Many parents who were able to make the early Monday morning meeting spoke supporting the teacher. Just as a board of non-medical professionals should not reprimand a doctor's medical decisions, a school board, particularly one dominated by individuals who do not value educators, should not be allowed to reprimand a teacher. One speaker also calling the board's vote to reprimand an overreach of power. The board seemingly acknowledging the issue in a formal statement during Monday morning's meeting. The Board of Trustees does not intend to limit the discretion of responsibilities of the superintendent or the campus principal. The board encourages the superintendent to take actions he deems appropriate. After more than an hour and a hearing, which took place behind closed doors, both sides eventually reached an agreement. Ms. Fair is pleased with the outcome and grateful that it has been resolved. She loves this community and her students and looks forward to continued success in the classroom. And While Farah herself didn't speak at the open meeting, she did hug her supporters before heading back to the classroom. And this controversy, just one of a few that the district has been involved in so far this year. Last fall, the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights opened up a federal investigation into the district after receiving multiple complaints. Heather.